and welcome to Ganesh Institute channel. So today in this video we are going to discuss how we can solve a cubic equation through Cardan's method. Some people say is it uh, say it uh, Cardinals. So that um, means the same. Basically what you need to do if you are having a cubic equation firstly remove the term which is having degree 2. You can see you know general form of cubic equation is this right so first of all remove the term which is having degree 2 and thereafter go ahead with this method but luckily in this example you can see there is no term having degree 2 so we can proceed with the next term we will discuss later with an example which will have a term with power 2 okay basically what you need to do if you are having a cubic equation, you need to let x is equal to u plus v. Okay? If x is equal to u plus v, and you can see here is cubic term. So, cubing both sides, what would you get? x cube equals a plus b whole cube means a cube plus b cube plus 3ab a plus b that's correct okay so now x cube is equals to u cube plus v cube 3 u v u plus v is x now take all the terms to the left hand side x cube minus 3 u v x minus u cube minus v cube right if you take minus is common this is the thing, right? Now, let us suppose, this. if you compare the main equation with this, on comparing, what would you get? You can see, this is x cube, this is 3x, 3x minus, so uv will be 1, right, on comparing. Then after this is 2 and here it is minus u cube plus v cube. Right? If you find it difficult that uh, how I can compare this with this, you can exclude x and then take the term, rest of the term. So minus 3 u v is equal to minus 3. Right? Then also you will get the same. Minus is cancelled with minus. u v is 1. Right? Why I am doing so? Let me tell you why. So u cube plus v cube is minus 2. Make it as also the term having degree 3 by the 3. So cubing both sides u cube v cube is 1. Now this is your first step to convert it into this form. Sum and product of u cube and v cube. Now let's take you know when you have any uh, equation, quadratic equation and you have roots, roots of quadratic equation, let's say alpha and beta. So sum of the roots is alpha plus beta and product of the roots is alpha into beta. How can you form with the sum and product a equation, an equation? It is x square minus sum of x plus product equals 0. Right? Similarly, let us consider u cube and v cube are the roots of some or of any quadratic equation. Alright? This is the general thing which we have to do when it comes to Cardinal's method. Okay? So, if these are the roots, so that means sum is u cube plus v cube and product is u cube into v cube alpha into beta, right? So, how you will form the equation from this? This is the thing. I can't take x square because x is already in the question then it will mess it up. So, let's say any other variable, let's say m. So, m square minus sum, this is it, of m plus product equals 0, right? So, this is the equation. You can 
put the values of b sum and product u cube v cube is minus 2 so minus minus plus 2 u cube v cube is 1 you can solve this by quadratic formula or splitting the term method right you can see if you factorize it multiply first in the last term coefficient 1 you can split it m plus m right take m as common m plus 1 take 1 as common m plus 1 take m plus 1 as common this is m plus 1 and you can see i could write it as m plus 1 whole square directly because this is quite visible but still i wanted to show you that how you can split it up so you have got m as minus 1 m as minus 1 right but your m was this right your the roots are basically m is what you have solved this for the roots of this equation and you have taken the roots as u cube and v cube so your u cube is minus 1 let me write it here so your u cube is minus 1 and your v cube is minus 1 so your u is cube root of minus 1 that is minus 1 v is cube root of minus 1 same you have got your u and v what was your x what you have taken x is u plus v that means minus 1 plus minus 1 that means minus 2 right your, you have got your x but because this is cubic equation how many roots you will have 3 right it is as many as the number of highest power so x is minus 2 that means x plus 2 is one of the factor of this equation if it is a factor then you know the further step that you can divide x plus 2 this equation can be divided by this now solve it x x cube so you have to multiply with x square then 2x square there is no x square term so write it separately change the sign then highest power minus 2x square minus 3x plus 2 right thereafter this is x so you have to make it equal so minus 2x is required so as to make it minus 2x square minus 4x plus plus change the sign this is cancelled 4 minus 3 is x plus 2 x plus 2 times 1 is x plus 2 so now you know this is your quotient this is your divisor so your dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder right this is division algorithm so your equation is divis divisor which is x plus 2 into quotient which is x square minus 2x plus 1 plus remainder as 0. Now again you can apply splitting the term here. You can see this is a minus b whole square. Similarly here you can write it x minus 1 whole square or x minus 1 x minus 1. So your three roots are put 1 by 1 as 0 x is minus 2 x is 1 and x is 1 these are your three roots again you can think of a question that why am i doing this all these things when i can simply find out the value by hit and trial so again my answer will be the same that if question is specifically saying that find the root by cardinal's method then you don't have any option and you have to follow this big root right so let me uh, recapitulate everything first of all if you are given with a cubic equation remove the term having the power 2 and thereafter put x as u plus v cubing both sides make a quadratic equation and follow the long division method and get the roots all right so um 
If you like this video, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel. See you in next video. Take care till then. Bye.